Okay, so it's like six o'clock or is it seven? I don't know. It's something. Alexa, what time is it? Yeah, it's 5.48, so it's like 6 o'clock. I just got home. Depending on the day, um, it just depends on what time I get home. I didn't have OB class today, but we all stayed to scan afterwards to practice our abdomen completes. So I was at school doing that, and then I came home. And now I'm in my room, and I'm going to go ahead and start studying for the night. It's going to be a very chill December 1st, you know, a very chill night. I'm really just going to go ahead and do some work because I have to um, do an assignment for class. And then I'm going to study for my final exam. So tonight, I really want to study for physics and OBGYN sonography. So that's what I'm going to start doing. So let's get into the studying. I really have no time to waste. I'm not even going to eat right now. I mean, wait, maybe I am because like, I'm kind of hungry. But I'm going to grab myself some water and I'm going to get into studying. I study either on my bed, on the floor, whatever is comfortable for me. But yeah, so this is typical for me, um, for me to come home around this time. And I'll just kind of chill. Um, so let's get into studying because I have no time to waste finals are coming up and it's crazy yeah so I got myself some dinner and I'm gonna eat first so I'm gonna decompress a little bit watch a little bit of YouTube and then I'm gonna study this is dinner tonight some air fried chicken some ranch with it so yeah I really don't want to get distracted though um because I feel like if I start watching YouTube, then I'm just going to want to watch YouTube. But I'll see. Um, this is the book that I'm using and my school uses for um, ultrasound physics. And I think a lot of people do. Um, this book is very helpful. Um, since I have finals coming up, what I'm doing is I'm going to try to read like two to three chapters per day and really go through it and refresh myself and do like the chapter questions. And then over the weekend, I'm going to do the questions in the back of the book. Oh my God, there's a lot of questions back here. What the freak? Wait a minute. There's like 500 questions. No, there's like 600. Okay, I never knew that. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit of the questions each night too, but I really want to do one to two chapters per day because before I take my SPI, I really want to make sure that I read through this book and um, know that I have a general or a pretty good understanding of everything. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start from chapter one. I'm going to do one and two today. Um, I don't think I'm going to take notes on it because I've taken notes throughout the semester. But my teacher makes specific PowerPoints for this. So what I'm going to do also is while I'm going through the chapters, I'm going to go through her PowerPoints as well and kind of study that way. So we'll see. I hope that that works for me. I think it will. But we will see. So I literally have a picture of whoever just printed out as a bookmark. So let's just get to it. Today is really just a homework study day, but so oh, I have to airdrop myself. The shit.
phase waves are when their peaks basically go together, and out of phase is when they're opposite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Constructive interference has to deal with in phase waves. And then, mm, that makes sense. So, constructive interference deals with in-phase waves and destructive interference is with out-of-phase waves. I went through chapters one and two. I read them, so now I'm going to go look at the PowerPoint that my teacher created based upon the same book. But I really want to make sure this stuff is kind of like drilled into my head. I mean, whatever I have to go through, I will like afterwards. But yeah, I'm going to read it out loud for myself, though, um, because sometimes I feel like that helps me learn better. So graphs, there's horizontal x axis, which is going to be horizontal and there's vertical, which is y up and down. Fundamental definitions, unrelated are Unrelated are two items that are not associated, and related are proportional, which are two items that are associated. Uh, directly related would mean they are associated when one item increases, the other increases. When they're inversely, one increases while the other decreases, or vice versa. Numbers with a positive exponent must be greater than one, and the exponent of zero has a value between one and ten. Um, so you shift the decimal okay metric system so exponent 10 to the ninth is giga which is a billion 10 to the sixth is mega which is a million 10 to the third is kilo which is a thousand 10 to the second is hecto which is 100 10 to the first is deca which is 10 10 to the negative first is deci which is 10 10 to the negative second is centi which is hundredth okay so basically this assignment what we have to do is we have to take a picture of um one of the machines that we have and we have to label all of the knobology basically label the entire um console which is crazy <laughs> um it's not that hard though but you have to label it and then also explain what each thing does which is fine um but also we have to be creative about it so what i did i'm creating like a christmas card and i think it's super freaking cute and i'm having so much fun with it but like now it's actually time to like you know do the work part but let me show you guys what i have because this is kind of cute so basically i said it's time for ultrasound harmonics depth and doppler only ultrasound peeps know what that means i'm gonna put my console here and then i'm gonna add whatever pages i need to here i'm gonna have to label the console i just realized that because i have to number each thing um but yeah, so the console picture is going to be here and then I'm going to put the corresponding like numbers down here and what um, each knobology novel item is and what it does for our images. It is now like 10 p.m. I'm chilling and I'm trying to find an outfit for tomorrow. Um, yeah, because I'm going out to dinner tomorrow, so I'm trying to find an outfit, but I'm going to end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching a day in my stressful life as a sonography student, but it's worth it in the end. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!